for the majority of this mission I'm gonna have to keep very very quiet I'll try using my invisibility and muffle spells quite a bit in here I may do some out of uh, character commentary here also since this is an opportunity to um, really just kind of let the uh, ambient noise and sounds kind of take over in some parts give a little information about uh, myself as far as my um, experience on gameplay stuff goes. Uh, I usually do Let's Plays, the occasional tutorial, but um, as far as this show goes, it's kind of my first attempt into an actual role play um, Let's Play, which I've seen on other channels before. Um, there's really only one particular channel and one gamer that I've watched his entire series, his previous um, Skyrim series on, and uh, it was uh, the Zemelf. Uh, that's his channel name. I think I have him linked on my um, on my main channel page somewhere. Yeah, so when I watched the Melf's uh, season one role play, uh, let's play, I was I was pretty impressed by what he had done there, and um, took it upon myself just because I liked the game to um, basically make an attempt to do something similar. I know a lot of other people were doing role play let's plays of Skyrim, so I figured I'd give it a try. I obviously know I'm. Uh, not really up to standards of uh, <laughs> what I personally hope for my personal best in this series. Um, I unfortunately did degrade in some of my dialogue and uh, voicing over to um, even in this this second season where I've improved pretty a bit. Kind of just kind of modern era vernacular. Let's just say that. Yeah, so it's it's my hope that as this series goes on that um, I'll probably do less and less of, uh, you know, dialogue that's kind of like modern language and kind of get better at the acting part of this and, um, you know, do, uh, do the role justice. I want to keep going with this and like each season and kind of like take a break and then you know, kind of um, improve or come up with new changes and it'll make the series better. Because you can see in this season two, it's quite a difference from compared to season one. If you did watch through, and I would um, encourage you to watch it because it, it's a continuing story. Um, Alrin's character is developing, and I have a direction. I kind of mentioned it in an older update. I think it was actually a Skyrim episode. Um, in the earlier of episodes where I just want to discuss a few things. And I think um, I sort of said I want him to start out sort of good. That's sort of a good guy in a way. Um, and I was hoping at some point to go back to the kind of characters that I like, which basically are like stealth characters and stuff like that. 
And so I, 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 I'm envisioning right now, as you can see, he is degrading. His character is kind of becoming more and more callous and indifferent about killing, murdering. He's even doing things and trying to justify them as, some, as, as he's done with some of the murders that he's committed. Um, now joining the Thieves Guild, but he's already kind of uh, degrading to the point where he could probably join the, the Dark Brotherhood and the AKA the Assassin's Guild without too much of a problem. I'm not sure I'll do that storyline. I think this season we're going to concentrate on Thieves Guild. Um, I'm not sure how how much further I'll go and what, when I'll end this particular season. Um, it's quite a bit of work right now. I'm, I'm about five or six episodes ahead on any given day because um, usually I'm, I'm playing for like two, three hours on a Saturday and over the course of the week I'll um, do the episodes, basically doing the rendering and the voiceover work. Um, so I'm not doing the voiceovers in this particular season at the same time I'm doing the episodes. It's something that's happening after. Um, so basically I have the benefit of uh, hindsight, knowing what's going to happen next. Um, and also if I shoot, basically kind of like if, if it's just like a TV show. If I'm shooting a line and I don't think I, I, did, I liked what I did, I basically reshoot it, you know. It's not, it's, I'm still, it still hasn't been perfect, but um, I think it's interesting because the thing is I, I would like to develop the character to the point where, yes, he, he was full-blown evil, but at, at some future point probably realize the error of his ways and have this, this become a redemption story and go back to the main storyline. Or perhaps redeem himself by, you know, trying to get away from these things and just becoming a hero. Will that? That won't be happening this season. Uh, it may not even be happening in the next season. I don't know. How far he degrades, I don't know. Um, so I guess that's sort of where the direction is, my creative thoughts on how I want the series to go. I did run into a short little problem. Um, I may have shown it in some of the videos, but I know I'm going to do probably in some future show, blooper show on. I, you know, I've done a couple blooper shows already on this, the, the previous season. Um, Lydia actually did. Lydia actually did survive <laughs> her encounter. So I had some interesting video of that. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, I, I thought she did die, and then. I, and she ended up not being dead. That one quest for completing that mission completed, auto-completed at some point, and I was left with the, the task of trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to edit things and piece things together. That's why that first episode of this particular season two was chopped up and kind of changed quite a bit. So I feel this season's going pretty good up to this point. Um, I was pretty happy that I had two quests in a row that sort of flowed and kind of merged together with the first episode, which I really wasn't sure was going to fit in, because that led right into, when I went in to get revenge, led right into the um, beginning of the next quest with the Deadric artifact that he's using now. You can see here the Dawnbreaker, and then that led right sort of perfectly into a nice long quest chain for Mayhoon's razor, um, May Mayhoon Dagon's razor, um, that dagger that he's using. So it all seemed to just work perfectly, and now we're into a new thing with the Thieves Guild. And I'm, I'm really just hoping that that all works out. So I did add quite a bit of, um, of the mods. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I'm really happy with them. There's a couple that have gotten a little tedious already. Um, I'm almost thinking that if I had it to do over again, maybe I would not have done some of them. Um, I like the ones for, for the, the, the character's needs. I forgot which one I, that one was. Um, 
where you basically need to eat, need to drink, need to sleep. But I'm thinking that um, I almost would have rather have role played um, some of the frostbite stuff rather than actually being, because <laughs> uh, they have quite a few bloopers of that too, where I actually did die <laughs> from some of the frostbite um, mods related things. And um, some of the skinning stuff was getting a little bit annoying too. For the Hunterborn mod, so I'm not quite sure yet um, where that'll go, but I can't really, once the save file's got it in there, I'd probably corrupt the save file by re removing them, so I'm probably not going to do that. So we'll, be, we'll just be stuck with using them for the rest of the, the Let's Play. Worthless mercenaries. I didn't think Maven or Mercy Just give me the key, all right? I Just can't. give it to me. If I do, I may as well cut my own throat. What makes you think I won't? I don't believe you. That's not your all way. All right. Well, forget it. No. I'll just open it myself. I'm not about to let you ruin everything I've worked so hard for. is not gonna like this uh, well they did say I could uh, <laughs> dispatch him if he did put up resistance unfortunately that's the case oh well Must be my imagination. I'm going to find whoever did it. When I do. What was that? Oh, let's go back to sleep, guard. You'll hear nothing. Don't worry about it. I don't think you can see me anyway. Wow, I must be getting really good. I just walked right in front of him, full view. He didn't even see me. <laughs> I guess I was just hearing things. What was that? That is one of my disappointments, is the stealth system in this. Even though it's good that it has a stealth system in it at all, um, I kind of wish it was a little bit more realistic, like a real stealth game where it took into account um, noise, direction, you know, lighting. Um, on top of a lot of other things, so the fact that he just saw me out, he, he, he was standing right in front of me, <laughs> like two feet in front of me, and, and I wasn't automatically detected fully, is just um, a little too unbelievable. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I think from here on, I'm just going to go silent on this and go back to Malrin. Um, and, um,. In the future, if you guys have any other, you know, questions, comments, whatnot for this series, um, maybe 10, 20 episodes from now, I'll, <laughs> I'll do another show like this where I kind of address a few things or talk about the show or how I'm doing it. Um, hopefully this was informative, so I'll go back to uh, my normal commentary now, in character.
I think it's just a matter of finding my way out of here and uh, burning these things now. I got the keys and everything. Alright. Well, this spell has worked quite well. Particularly in unison with the, uh, the muffle spell I learned. Bet you those guards get fired after I leave. I snuck in and assassinated their leader right under their noses. <laughs> All right, we're outside again. Don't see any guards. I hear them though. They're around. Ah, there you are. This isn't going to be easy. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it over there without them seeing me. Well, I've been discovered. Alright, I think the best of this bad situation here. Alright, no more spells. Now it's action. We gotta burn those things and get out of here quick. I'll see you. We have a small army worth of mercenaries here. Nothing! Guys, so many of you. Name. I didn't even see him. Alright, I'll try to go back invisible again. Maybe I could lose the other ones. I think some of them have heard me. They're on to me. You can't hide from me. <laughs> yes, taste it. All right, there they are. Oh no, there's all the guards. They seen me. Well, I'm gonna have to take you all out. gonna work just like this. Now oh, they got a beat on me. Alright, back to work, Dawnbreaker. We're gonna wreck them. I have to clear this whole island off these things. Ha! Like a bite of a flea! There you go. Take that. You've already lost. Ah, he's in a good position. That's smart of them. Very smart of you. Not smart enough. Just a scratch. Oh, this is taking its toll on me, though. It hit a lot of arrows. <laughs> well, there goes all your ranged attacks. Uh, no more, no more ranged mercenaries. Oh, I took a lot of, a lot of hits there. Not feeling good at all right now. Not at all. It's gonna get this mission done with and get out of here. Pick a few herbs while I'm at it. I don't ever get a chance to do that anymore when I'm on horseback. 
have any more mercenaries out here? I might have got rid of all of them. Alright, how do I get over there? Alright, bridge over here, okay. Couple more. Mm, uh, I see more. I see more. Now you're mine. He's been nothing but a lifesaver. I love this one. And in uh, also non-RP comment here, I have to make I have to make mention. I've done this uh, this little quest line. I think on two other characters too, and I think they, they these mercenaries spawn in once you raise the alert. Because I've tried in my other on the PlayStation to do this, and I think they um, once they spawn in, that's it. You gotta deal with them. Which is quite annoying. I would have liked to have picked them off from the outskirts. I tried before to do that. It didn't quite work out before. Alright. Right now I see none. Well, I can try and use that flame magic. I do have a rudimentary understanding of magic, destruction magic, so I don't remember if I brought my torch with me. I don't want to go shuffling through my bag. I gotta get these things down quick. They go burn, babes. Burn. Burn. Oh. Mission accomplished. Damn thing spawned in behind me. Three brutes. Figures. You're a disgrace to your own kind. Show me what you shot. I'll you. I gotta get out of here. This is this is not good. Brothers, they all look alike. Hit. Here, a little bit of that. Don't do that too often, but let's try it out. I'm not above trying to use a few, few uh, new tactics once in a while. All those poison on the blade. I keep forgetting to use these poisons also. A few potions here I gotta use up. This is what I've tried. I keep your bleed. Drop. Drop already. Burn you. Oh, finally. There goes your mercenary army. Well, Vex, you couldn't do this. I did it. Old Mercer's happy. I don't think he's going to be too happy I killed the, uh, the wood elf. That's not too good. Right, I better get out of here before anyone else uh, realizes what happened. Back in for another swim again. And one thing I have noticed, I, I did enjoy talking with Lydia in Season 1. Having someone to talk to, um, I think it works. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, in order to play a stealth character, you got to be alone. So her death was sort of necessary for the story. But I'm hoping that I've been talking a lot to this horse, which is kind of weird, because <laughs> um, yeah, it's not as much interaction. But I've been noticing I've been doing that sort of subconsciously, um, talking to the horse. So. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe in the future I may think about um, 
further on in the series picking up another companion of some sort, but for probably the Thieves Guild stuff, and if I do do the Dark Brotherhood, I don't know if I will, but I may actually um, avoid, I'll avoid any future companions, Ma mainly because Mallory has a sense of guilt about ha her dying and um, the people Morthal in particular he was upset with, which is why he sort of justified those murders and some of the things and some of the things he stole from that that particular city. So, yeah, um, that's sort of what what was motivating him in some of those some of those things. So many refuse to talk to us. They call us thieves and smugglers. I am glad to see that you are not such a one. All right, let's sell a few of these ill-gotten goods look. off. Or to lead you to Warden Sands. Well, thank you guys. Um, I'm not used to dealing with anyone but Razad, but that's okay. Now right, let's go report back in on this. Um, hopefully Mercer's not too angry about all that. <laughs> 